What's up? My name is Julian Williams, and I take Expedite. Some days I walk into the gym, and I don't necessarily feel like working. I take a scoop or two of this, be ready to go. It's the best stuff I've ever had. Expedite. Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here in Las Vegas, being joined with Mr. Sergio Mora, the Latin snake. And Sergio, you're calling this fight Canelo versus Daniel Jacobs happening this weekend at the T-Mobile. But you have unique insight because you have faced Daniel Jacobs, yep. not on just one occasion, on two occasions, and you knocked the man down as well. Mm -hmm. Is this fight really a 50-50 fight, given that we all know, though we haven't seen it, Jacobs does have chin problems? It's a 50-50 fight if you break down the categories. Power, 50-50. Athleticism, Jacobs. Uh, chin, Canelo. Uh, body punching, Canelo. Uh, size advantage, experience, amateur pedigree, and on and on and on. So it's not quite a 50-50 fight because Canelo has faced uh, the prob possibly the better opposition. Uh, Jacobs has been on a tear lately, and the confidence it's at its peak the momentum is at the right time the cards are lined up for Daniel Jacobs to shock the world uh, and I just think it's gonna be a, 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 an explosive fight it's gonna be a collision that I keep using that word collision everyone if anyone else uses that word to promote this fight they got it from me this fight's gonna be a collision between two monster punchers that can really fight they're athletic they have speed and their, their momentum has peaked at the right time that's why they're colliding speaking of uh, that how big of a puncher is Daniel Jacobs? Like, how do you describe that power? There's different types of power. There's fast power, there's heavy-handed power, and then there's a, a mass, massive power, like, like uh, the weight behind it. That's what Jacobs is. He has that brute, brute strength. Brute strength. There you go. Brute strength. That, but he has athleticism. See, usually guys like that, brute strength, they don't have the athleticism. They have heavier feet because they have to plant their feet and they're kind of more uh, plotting. He's not plotting. He's athletic and he has that brute strength. He doesn't have that athletic speed. He doesn't have that, that speed pop, pop. It catches you at the end of a punch type. And he doesn't have explosive combinations like Canelo does. So these are all different types of power. So the brute strength, if he catches you with that one shot like he did me and like he has others, there's no way he doesn't hurt Canelo. And I think Canelo's going to feel one of those punches in 12 rounds if it goes that long. Do you think it will go that long? I, I think I think there's too much power on both their sides. On both their sides. I don't think it, it goes a distance. It goes, in, it goes into the later rounds. I just don't, I don't see a decision. Someone's getting knocked out. Who do you think will be the one that will be on the floor knocked out? I don't know, man. I can't say I'm calling the fight. I got I to gotta keep it neutral and political, but I can't say, I can't say this. Both of them are going to get hurt. You think so? We're going to see knockdowns in the fight from both? I didn't say knockdowns. They're yeah. both going to get hurt. You're going to see them physically hurt because they punch too hard. Let me put it in this perspective. We got one more, one more. Let me put it in this perspective. I'm Joe Schmo fan, and I say, man, Golovkin knocked him down. Sergio, you knocked him down. There's no way that this Jacobs can withstand a punch from Canelo. That's bullshit, bro. I clip you right now, you'll go down. I can probably probably clip the security guard if I catch him around the chin. So that's nonsense, man. Just because my, my, my knockout ratio doesn't insist. But dude, anyone, you clip them to the tip of the chin, they're going out. <laughs> that was Sergio Mora giving us his analysis for this fight this weekend. And we are getting kicked out by security right now. This is Marcos Vegas in Las Vegas. Canelo versus Jacobs happens this Saturday at the T-Mobile Arena.